Number 12, three marks, complete the square. Well, the thing is, it's got a wee negative. Don't let that bother you. Take that negative out of it. That'll leave an x squared, but a plus 6x. Now, you've all got your own little ways. I'm just going to keep that 7 right out of it just now so it doesn't interfere with the process. This is what I want to complete. Because I know that if I've got those two terms, it should be an x plus a 3, because twice the product squared. And if I square that, that would put a 9 in there, which wasn't there. So I'm going to take away those two 9s. Which means that over here, if that's a negative 2, 9, I'll be adding 18. So plus 25. And that's it. Number 13 then, the last one in paper 1, 7 marks here, functions of functions. You've got a little trig one here and we've got one that just doubles it. What would you do first of all? Evaluate f of g, so it's just evaluate for and mark, and then the second part you just get the formula for it. Which you could do the other way around I suppose. So in this part it's probably a bit quicker to get the formula and then pop that in the formula. So you've got to figure out what g of that is. Well what g does is it doubles it. So it's f acting on 2 times pi upon 6. Now what does f do? It doubles the sine of that, so it's double the sine of pi upon, 2 times pi upon 6, which is pi upon 3. Now, sine pi upon 3, that's the 60. The 60 is the root 3 upon 2, so it's 2 times root 3 upon 2. It's not a lot of work for one mark here. So finally we get root 3. Second part was... An expression for f of g of x, for 2 mark, that was 1 mark, for 2 mark, that's a bit easier. Because that's just f acting on 2x. And what is f? It's 2 times the sine of whatever it was acting on, so it's 2 sine 2x. So why was that worth 2 marks and that was just worth 1? Then in part b, given that f of p is a third, what's the exact value of sine p for one mark? Well, f of p is just 2 sine of whatever you put in. You've put in a p, so 2 sine p. So 2 sine p is a third, which means that sine p is going to be that divided by 2, which is a sixth. Part 2 for 3 marks. I'm going to pop it up here. B part 2. Determine the exact value of f of g of p. I have to, anyway. f of g of p. You just did that. Does that mean you can just go straight in with? Well, that must be 2 sine 2p. Well, so that's 2 times. Now, you know sine p, but sine 2p, you know that as well. That's 2 sine p, so I know that. There's the nasty bit, cos p. I'll better put this over here now. So you've definitely got 4 times sine p, so that's 4 times a 6. So that's nice and easy, but what's cos p? Well, you know that sine squared plus cos squared makes 1. So cos squared is 1 minus sine squared, so cos is one, the square root of 1 minus sine squared. So I've got to multiply this by the square root of 1 minus... A sixth squared. So that's the exact value you have to find. Well, you've got that part there. I'll just knock that down just now. So there's two thirds of. Now that's out of 36. So that'll be 36 bits taken by one. That's 35. 35 stuck in there. But that's a six underneath. Once you do the square root, that six can come out, knock out that, and make that a ninth. So you've got a ninth of the square root of 35 or the square root of 35 all over 9.